everybody, it's me, Chasey Poo, and today I'm coming at you with another review. I'm about to show a peen on screen. If you don't like it, go away. Alrighty, today I'm going to be reviewing the Lou from Trans Guy Supply. This is an STP that is, I don't even know how to explain it because, wow. That's all I have to say. Here it is, all right? This is what it looks like here. At first I was suspicious. I was like, what is this? A new STP? I'm curious about the shape. Let's see how it works and how it packs. Let me bring it up to you real close so you can have a look. This is the detail. It's all one color, right? So there's no like paint job on it and it is available in four different skin tones. So this is what it looks like right here. And there you go. Now, something I noticed about this, the silicone is really soft, but not soft, really soft. like super soft and it got me thinking about Axelum. Now Axelum is another company I've done unboxing, couple reviews. They have very similar silicone and this is actually made in China so it's not made in the United States. I feel like they're using the same manufacturer because like it's such similar silicone and I know that like obviously you can use any type of silicone but no other prosthetics out that I have tried have ever had a silicone that feels like this, and now there's two. So I'm a little bit suspicious, that's all. To me, it just looks so similar how soft and how there's no like weird indentations or anything. You could tell that it's like a manufacturing or a warehouse that's a pro that's done sex toys before, you know what I'm saying? This is Axelum, by the way, just to like kind of give you, like it's just very similar. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I love this STP, all right? I'm gonna be straight up with you. STPs are hard to find a good one, all right? I feel like, like we should have a survey to survey how many people have tried how many STPs before finding the right one. All right, I feel like it's like four because we all try to find the right one that works for our anatomy and it just doesn't pack well, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel good when you're peeing and you pee all over yourself, it just doesn't work out or it's too expensive. This is only $45, all right? And I will tell you, the first time I peed with it, didn't pee myself. What? Yeah, you think I'm a pro because I've tried so many STPs. No, still pee on myself. This, nope. Did not pee on myself. Second time, I was like, okay, this is the time. Nope. I was like, wow, I really know where my urethra is. Look at me. And I was like, is this a fluke? Am I just like, no, nope. still kept peeing and it was fine. The way that the cup is shaped and where you place it on your body and where it lies actually works perfectly for my body. Now, I also really like the look of it for when you're peeing because it does look like a weenie and it feels very realistic. They do have different STP called the Freely and the Freely XL. I'll review those later on, but I just wanted to kind of focus on the loo first. I'm sure you're wondering what it looks like when you're packing, so I'll, I sh I'm gonna show you right now. I packed with it up and I packed with it down, so let me show you that right now. So as you can see, it doesn't pack like like the Pierre from the New York Toy Collective would, right? It's like, it's shaped downwards and it gives you a nice bulge. However, this does give you a pretty nice bulge and I was only wearing underwear. If you're wearing pants on top of that, it does really give you that nice bulge that you're looking for. And obviously like this video is not sponsored. They're not paying me for this. They just sent me the products to review. I'm not getting anything out of it. Like I'm just straight up giving you my unbiased opinion and I'm really impressed by this STP and I really didn't think I was going to be and I love being surprised. Now it does not have a no spill lip, which is pretty common for a lot of STPs nowadays, where you have a little bit of a ledge here. So if you're peeing and there's some backflow, it doesn't flow backwards. However, I just, I feel like I didn't, need, I didn't need it. And that's just for me personally. Obviously, some people might need it and they might not like this STP and that's completely fine. But for me personally, just like putting it under and it actually just, it flowed great. That's why the shape is like this. I understand now. Because for me, the shape was just so interesting because like, as we all know, the easy P is like this, right? Where it's like higher, the balls are higher up. And then there is actually an STP out there that looks like this. I don't remember the name of it. I don't even know if it still exists, but it's like, it's up here and it actually looks a little bit like this. I wonder if that's where they got their idea for this model actually. And then uh, bending it down, you are cutting off the hole, but not entirely, right? So if you're up here and you're wanting to pee lower, which I don't know why you would do that, you can still do that and get some flow. It doesn't completely knock it off. Like some STPs, like the Jimmy STP, if you move the shaft, it completely blocks the hole, which is not good. Anyways, that's all I had to say about this one. Let me know in the comments below if you have it and what you feel about it. Good experience is bad experience. I wanna see it all, especially other people reading the comments who like are wondering about this. It's good to have different experiences out there. So 
let me know. And also let me know if you have any questions below. I'll try to answer them, try to get the company to answer them as well. But yeah, this is like different and I really, really like it for peeing. Didn't mention, but the hole in the front is pretty big. So if you're a big peer, a big peer, a strong peer, a peer, a peer, big stream, strong stream, whatever, you're not gonna have any backflow because it the 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 width of the hole inside is pretty big the entire way down and then it just tunnels down to this hole, which is actually pretty big, which is great because some are really small and then you're peeing and you have to let it, like you have to hold it in, pee. Hold it in, pee. This way you don't actually have to do that. You can just pee and let it go and not worry about the backflow, which I really enjoy. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.